Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and I'm here to talk to you about anti-aging. Many of my patients come to me and say, how do I slow the aging process down? What can I do to truly anti-age or actually reverse the aging process? Well, I don't know that, that we have, that scientists have figured out a way to truly reverse the aging process, but certainly many of us can slow the aging process. Aging is multifactorial. There are many different factors that accelerate the aging process, and also, of course, there are many factors that can slow the aging process. Probably the main factor that I always tell my patients is calorie restriction. The bottom line, the less you eat, the slower you age, and the longer you live. Many studies have been done in, uh, in many lower animals, such as worms, flies, uh, even yeast, rats, mice, and what they found is when they decrease calorie intake, such as 25 to 30 percent less calories, the animals will live longer, but not only live longer, they'll age slower. So let's say a, a two-year-old mice may actually look like a one-year-old mouse, or a two-year-old mouse may look like a one-year-old mouse. Now, finally, there are ongoing studies in macaque rhesus monkeys, and the exciting part about that is macaque rhesus monkeys have a genome that's very similar to humans. And there's a study ongoing at University of Wisconsin and another NIH-sponsored study. There are 21 years into the study, and what it's shown is that the calorie-restricted monkey, which is getting 25% less calories than the other monkeys, is aging much slower. So the bottom line is, if you do one thing to slow your aging process, it's eat less. And eating less will actually stimulate genes, called the SERP genes, that will slow the aging process. Now, another way that eating less will help slow the aging process is as you probably know, there are so many toxins in our, in our environment. There are many more toxins in our air, our water, and our food now than there were 30 years ago, 100 years ago. And the bottom line is, if you eat less food, you're going to have less toxins. And many of these toxins are stored in your fat indefinitely. So if you're carrying a little more weight than you should be, get the weight off and plan on not going on a diet, but eating as little as you can for the rest of your life. So that's one of the, that's probably the main factor to slow the aging process. Another factor I'll talk about is oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is the formation of free radicals. And I won't get into the biochemistry too much of a free radical, but the bottom line is it's a very unstable molecule. And oxidative stress is caused by anything that you may perceive as stress. So if you have a lot of emotional stress, if you're working your body too hard, such as running marathons, if you're drinking too much alcohol, if you're carrying too much fat, it causes a lot of oxidative stress. And oxidative stress promotes the aging process and also predisposes you to many diseases. So how do you decrease oxidative stress? Well, you want to undo all the things that you're doing that promotes oxidative stress. But the other thing you can do is to take lots of oral antioxidants. And I take not only oral antioxidants, but intravenous antioxidants. So, in summary, the two best ways that you can, the two best methods you can use to slow the aging process are one, calorie restrict, and two, decrease your oxidative stress by increasing your intake of antioxidants. This has been Dr. Mark Rosenberg talking to you about antioxidants.